I guess I'm just gonna throw it out there that it does bug me when I see comments of people being like, Mark was better, blah, blah, blah. Like, y'all didn't know our relationship at all. Y'all didn't know shit if it was all a facade for the internet. <laughs> I haven't vlogged or like put out a video in like four months. I'm so sorry guys. If you're watching this video, thank you. Thanks for uh, sticking by me after I haven't posted for four months. Get your shit together. I guess a lot has been kind of going on and I asked you guys on Instagram, uh, Kelly Wright, uh, if you wanna follow me, to ask me guys some questions. So I'm gonna kind of like tackle those questions cause I was kind of scrolling through them. And a lot of you guys have been asking me like what I've been up to, stuff about quarantine, job related stuff. So can we just take an appreciation moment that like my hair is done, my makeup is done. <laughs> My ADD is on one today. Y'all just saw that, right? Spooky. The first one I'm saying is Ooh. why is it Luna number two? Luna's never number two. Luna's number one. And if Luna's not number one, I'm number one. And that would be why she would be number two. But like, she's number one, a hundred percent. Where have you been? Everywhere, literally. Me and my boyfriend Shep got coronavirus in the very beginning of all this. I think I got mine back in January, so, but anyways, we have the antibodies, so we've been, you know, a little bit more lenient on like going out to restaurants, you know, if they're safe, obviously with masks on and everything, uh, just so we can like give back, put money back into the community and help tip people uh, that are working. And so we actually drove across the country and saw like different states and it was so much fun and it was like completely dead, so it was the perfect time to go. I've been gone for like a month. I just got back. Um, so that's also part of the reason why I haven't put out a YouTube video. Um, I try to keep my relationship and YouTube slash social media kind of separate. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen him. I do post him sometimes. I just don't want to do like the whole Mark situation where like everyone knows everything. And even then y'all didn't know shit about Maya and Mark's relationship. It was all like a facade for the internet. So like, I just like don't want to do that with this relationship. I guess I'm just going to throw it out there that it it does bug me when I see comments of people being like, Mark was better, blah, blah, blah. Like y'all didn't know our relationship at all. I guess that's just like comes with YouTube. I haven't wanted to do YouTube because I didn't want to do things that didn't feel authentic to myself. And I think a lot of what I was doing, I know a lot of the content that, you know, Mark and I were putting out was fake. It wasn't authentic. It was all like staged, extravagant, fake things. You guys kind of had this like perception of our relationship as this like perfect YouTube sensational, like, inst you know, like couple and it was, not like that at all. I have an incredible boyfriend now. I've never been treated so well in my entire life. I'm so lucky. I'm just choosing to keep it off the internet and just because it's not on the internet doesn't mean that like it's bad or anything. But yeah, that's just like some inside scoop on relationships and social media for you. It says, what's your ethnicity? You're so gorgeous. Oh. Thank you. Um, I am Icelandic on my mom's side and Italian. Oh my God, I swear to God. It knows it's almost Halloween. It's spooky time. Spooky season, man. I'm Icelandic and I am Italian. Hey, favorite movie? Guess it on the comment section. Ready? One, two, three. Guess right now. Guess what your favorite. Guess what you think my favorite movie is. Maybe five seconds to comment something. One, two, three, four, five. Interstellar. I love that movie. Um, I love a good like psychological thriller, man. That is not even considered a psychological thriller. I don't know. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. I think it's dope. Um, I. It's 9.30 at night and I'm yawning because I've been up so early. God, I just like wanted to punch myself in the face. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed. Bye. 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 Bye.
the second I started doing that. And I know my editor is probably gonna have me, rip, like it's probably gonna repeat and I'm cringing right now. So early. I'm sorry, you had to see that twice. Are you working? Bro? What the <laughs> is happening in this house? Why am I whispering? Not because I don't want to get killed. It's spooky season. <laughs> Are you working in a clothing line, acting, etc.? How do you ask? I just started going on auditions again. So um, coronavirus happened and everything was put on pause. Um, I'm not doing a clothing line, but I have some other really cool thing um, that I have been working on that I will be sharing on Instagram uh, in the next couple days, depending on when I get this video out. I'm assuming still in the next couple days. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. How do you style? your outfits that's a good question honestly i don't really know like whatever i like i kind of just like throw it together i don't like being safe like lately i've been kind of like uh liking mixing patterns and stuff like that my kind of style i guess or like sense of things that i like has always kind of like been the same like i like punk emo but like girly I don't know, man, that's a great question. My go-to outfit at nighttime though, like if I was going out would be like a chunky black heel. I have like so many different kinds, but like something like this, cause I can't wear heels at all. Like a fall, so something like this is like perfect. And then I love anything that's like crazy pants. Like these are all my crazy pants. So like this would be like a crazy pant and then like, a black top with it or i would do something like this it's like a wild shoe eccentric is that the right word Isn't that amazing but like something that's like crazy i need one like staple piece wow that's loud as shit. <laughs> um yeah that's usually what i like how are you doing through all of this and how do you handle hate if you get it honestly i was handling it like really good i lived in a house with a bunch of friends so we were all quarantined together and then i got luna and i lived with my boyfriend for like two months and then i got an apartment and like honestly for the most part i can't complain i'm i'm really 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 fortunate and i'm I'm grateful that my mentality has been so positive through everything that's going on. But I'm human, so I have days that are extremely tough. I have days that I'm super depressed. I have days that I don't wanna do sh I just know that that's only for that day and the next day will be better. So as long as you can grab hold on knowing that that feeling isn't gonna last forever and let yourself feel that, at least for me, I can't speak for you, but like it kind of, I just know that it's gonna wear off and it does. For the most part, I've been really fortunate and I've had more good days than bad. And I kind of am just, I'm such a type B person. So I'm like the type of person that's like, it's fine. Like it'll figure itself out. It'll figure itself out. It'll figure itself out. And then it figures itself out. What's your favorite song at the moment? <laughs> so like mainly if you go into, I'm giving you a sneak peek into my liked songs right now. I need to stop. <laughs> um, I really like Juice World's new album. I really love Black Bear's new album. Machine Gun Kelly's songs have been killing it lately. And my obsession, like the song that I literally played on repeat over and over and over again until I beat it to the ground was Stay Away by Mod Sun featuring Machine Gun Kelly. Listen to it, let me know if you like it. How do you stay fit during COVID? <laughs> That's so funny. I don't. I'm stressed out about it, guys. I don't think that I wear insecurities on me. I think naturally I'm a pretty like confident person. Like I've always worked out my whole life. And so it's easy for me to get back into the groove of like working out and stuff. But there'll be like months where I'm kicking ass and I'm eating healthy and I'm working out and I'm feeling great. And then there'll be days or like months I'm eating like shit. I'm not working out, I'm drinking. And it is what it is and it sucks. And those those months that I do that, I like wear big t-shirts a lot. <laughs> Going on a diet is 
not gonna last. Like you want something that is going to be like a lifestyle change. And I guess I'm hypocritical because I kind of go back and forth, but like I wouldn't consider when I'm like working out and eating healthy, I wouldn't consider that me dieting. I'm just eating healthy. I don't even know if that makes sense. Also guys, I got pierced. I think this is infected, but I got this one, I got this one and I got this one and I want to get more. Not to about it getting older. Ew. But like also awesome. So like it sucks. Like I'm getting gray hairs. I'm gaining weight. I'm like having to worry about real life shit. Like, you know, paying rent and like, I don't know. Like what am I gonna do for the rest of my life? Like things like that, that are stressful. But like whatever, you know, it's life and I'm excited. I can't wait to have kids. How are your eyes so crystal? I got it from my mama. Uh, weight loss tips, I guess I would just say, find a healthy lifestyle. Honestly, it's all in your eating. Working out helps you like feel good and obviously like, you know, guilt, build toning and muscle and stuff like that. But like in your belly, it's all in what you eat. When I'm eating really healthy, I stick to just like chicken breasts and vegetables. I try and do like broccoli or like sauteed kale, carrots. Stuff like that, that's like still good. And then I don't eat sweets. The only sweets I eat are fruits and I try not to eat a lot of them. But I love strawberries and I have to have sweets. So like don't punish yourself. And if you want a cookie, have a cookie, but like try and have it be like gluten free and just have one. Like don't indulge. Don't make yourself suffer because it's not fun at that point. Favorite mm. color? I'd probably say blue, like a teal or a turquoise. Obviously. Have you ever been to Australia Australia, and what? where do you want to travel to next? Um, no, I've not been to Australia and me, my boyfriend loves it there. Casey's from there, I need to go there. I will be there soon, but they have a 14 day quarantine right now so we can't go there. There's so many places I want to travel to. That is a great question. If you want me to travel somewhere, put it down in the comments. I love tropical places, guys. But again, I'm not picky and I love like places I've never been. <laughs> like Morocco and Turkey. Really wanna do Fiji. We've been talking about doing Cuba. Are you and Ayla still friends? <laughs> that bitch. I'm just kidding. I love Ayla. We just haven't really seen each other. I've been gone for literally a month, but also I just posted her on my Instagram. So on that someone is asking me this question on Instagram, when my last post is they love me. Favorite and least favorite food? I'm so tired. Ah. Wake up. Did, 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 did anyone else think of that? I guess I did. Favorite and least favorite food? Favorite food? Pasta. Chocolate. Tacos. Least favorite food? Fish? Are you currently seeing or dating someone? Yes. Um, the love of my life, his name is Shepard. I love him so much. Can't wait to marry him and have his kids. Mm. How is it being a dog mommy? Luna is so precious. Oh, I love her so much. Oh my God. I love her so much. She is an angel. Oh, she's my favorite thing. Favorite mm. moment of 2020. When Shep and I went to Mexico, we went to Hull Box for a week. I don't really go into the ocean that much because I'm like terrified of it. But the ocean in Hull Box was basically like a mile out to your, like you could walk out like a mile into the ocean and it would still only be to your knees, which was tight. Like I was like, yeah, I'll go in that. So we walked out really, really far. And then we just kind of like laid down in the water for like an hour, just watching the sunset and like talking. And it was the most beautiful sunset ever. How many tattoos do you have? And that's a great question. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my God. My mom's watching this YouTube video. I already know it, but I'm trying to get another tattoo. My mom's gonna call me the second she listens to this. Oh, I guess 14 if I count this. My I love you for my dad. I've been wanting a tattoo here for the longest time. This is also a removal and it looks like sh So I need something to like cover this. I just haven't figured out what yet. This is feathers from a dream catcher, but it looks like sh 
and I've been thinking about, oh, 15 my foot. I think that I want to start getting it removed. Like, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Everyone's like, is that a bug? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Will you come to New York City? I was just in New York City. Ah, Shep does would you rathers all the time. And I love him for it. They're funny as shit. But he just asked some would you rathers. And I'm just going to repeat them so you guys can respond down below what you think. Would you rather fur all over your potty like a dog? or hair all over your body like a horse. There, what is the, okay, obviously a dog. I also don't know, that was a stupid one. I'm gonna call him after this. Would you rather eat pizza forever or french fries forever? Aha! Pizza, for sure, because you can change it up, duh. Like what you want, sweet potato fries? Ew, cool. Oh, pizza, because then I can put my fries on my pizza. Boom! Would you rather be a peanut or an edamame? An edamame because there's three and three are better than two and I don't want to be nuts. People are allergic to nuts and I want everyone to enjoy me. Do you have any, any new hobbies? Oh my God, we've been, we've been golfing lately and it's been so fun. Never in my life did I think that golfing would be so fun. So you can like drink and like ride a golf cart while you're drinking. Awesome. What do you find yourself doing during COVID to pass the time around and have fun? Playing Would You Rathers with my dumbass boyfriend that I love so much. Hanging out with Luna, obviously. Trying to play different like card games and games. Playing video games, painting, drawing, tie dyeing. I've been bleaching uh, my clothes. What is your skincare routine? Oh, I'll do a video for you guys. How about that? Will you ever start an OnlyFans? Guys, if I got an OnlyFans, would you guys like follow it? Real talk, let me know down in the comments. I asked you guys a lot of questions in this video and I think it's only fair because I've also answered a lot of questions. So you answering the questions that I've asked would be super helpful. And I will also be responding to you guys. When did you get your boob job? You know what? a guy that asked me so I'm actually not going to respond to that but if it was a girl you know I got you how tall are you five four um okay my last question is how has your family been I really miss your videos and you're my role model oh I love you um family's been great they're obviously even better because they watched Luna for like a month so obviously they're awesome but on the subject of luna i'm gonna go get her also don't mind this mess <laughs>